many hands. So we have to do 10,000 of these. May make short work. No, we have to do more than that. They use 10,000 a day. But with a task this big. It is tedious, yes. <laughs> there's still plenty to do. We've timed ourselves. <laughs> it's what brought Robert Johnston, a retired doctor, to volunteer at Key Arena. Setting up for the Seattle King County Clinic. Of course, I didn't need to go to medical school to do this, but that's okay. <laughs> You do what you need to do, what helps the most. But to help. Over 100 dental chairs. Volunteers wade into a flurry of activity. Oh yeah, a few more than I usually do. <laughs> it's really a community effort. And for that, Meredith Lee Vollmer is grateful. Yeah, they're super busy. This is a super busy day because there's so much equipment that has to be set up uh, to be ready to go tomorrow morning. And she says the need is greater than ever. You know, and healthcare is very expensive. So even with a job, uh, even with two jobs sometimes, it's really hard to, to get what you need. And so this clinic helps fill that gap. This year's clinic is a month earlier to accommodate renovations at the Key. We moved it up and everybody rallied and we got it done. We are not sure exactly where we're going to be in the future. We know that we probably won't be here at this time next year. But while they might not be here in the future, they will be ready to serve somewhere. So I really do feel like it is a lot of compassionate care that happens within this arena. Wherever they end up. Yeah, you know, and heaven knows we could use more compassion these days. Michael Crow, King 5 News.